The thousands of Lowcountry veterans are now able to begin receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Today, the Ralph H. Johnson VA outpatient clinic welcomed patients who need vaccines. News 2's Kate Prestak got a first-hand look and joins us now live from the Rivers Avenue location. And Kate, a lot of veterans came to this location today to be vaccinated. Well, Carolyn, today alone, the VA estimates that roughly 1,000 veterans were vaccinated with their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. That's after 900 different appointments were scheduled and some walk-ins were welcomed. Though the facility will not be open fully until the summer, vaccinations are underway. We've been out about 7,000 vaccines at this point. Some of those are second vaccines. Um, our goal in this clinic is to be able to give up to 5,000 vaccines a week. Scott Isaacs, the director and CEO of the Ralph H. Johnson VA Medical Center, says that goal depended on supply. I'm working on it with two vaccines, first and second doses, and then thousands of, of veterans. We wanted to make sure we had a good process in place. I, I'm proud to say at this point we haven't wasted any vaccines, and the reason for that is um, we've got a full-service hospital downtown. Um, you know, each vial, we make sure we've got scheduled appointments, but we also take some walk-ins to make sure we use every dose. So. As for those who are able to make an appointment, you must be age 70 or above and be a part of the VA's health care system. One veteran making his way from North Myrtle Beach to North Charleston on the recommendation of his wife. I'm a perfect candidate. I'm old, I'm fat, and I've had open heart surgery, and I got diabetes, and she said, honey, you got to call the VA and you got to get a shot because I'm around it all the time. Stephen Cornelius says that while he had to make the trip down, the VA made sure to waste no time getting him in and out of the clinic. He says having been through the polio epidemic, getting a shot for the pandemic was much easier. You're done? You know, didn't feel it. Usually feel uh, the juice going in the arm, but just nothing, you know. Isaacs with the VA says that one important thing to remember is that wherever you get your first dose, whether that's Pfizer or Moderna, downtown or in North Charleston, you'll have to get that at the same location for your second dose. Live in North Charleston, I'm Kate Prestak. Count on two.